Welcome, Libra and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box for those of you that want to skip ahead. What is the energy here, please? Okay. Well, if this is your card. We have Libra here. So you could be thinking about or dealing with a fellow Libra. Um, or Libra season could be relevant for some of you. Um, that would be September 23rd to October 22nd. We also have the sun and we have Pluto here. Okay. I mean, I think this is about ultimately you putting yourself first. You recognizing, you know, what's truly going to make you happy here. You know, ending certain cycles, but knowing that it's for your highest good. For some, you are distancing yourself from people in your life friends, family, maybe even dramatic people at work, you know, whatever the case may be, but let us see. Or maybe you, perhaps you see your person doing this. Okay. We have flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. And stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay. So, again, take what resonates and leave what does not. For some of you, you could be, like, you know, setting clear boundaries with people from your past. You know, um, for those of you who are dealing with someone where just things, they, you weren't valued, you weren't appreciated. Um, you're focused on new. You're focused on you. You're moving forward. And for some of you, this could be about meeting someone new. So let us take a look and see with more specifics here. What is going on here, please, for the Libra Collective? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What needs to be known, seen, and understood? What is the energy here, please, for the Collective? Libra. Your energy. Your person's energy. What's between you and this person? The obstacle or the challenge. Okay. Their thoughts about you their feelings for you, their intentions with you, and actions. Okay, under the deck is the Magician. So Gemini Virgo energy strongly here. We also have strong um, Leo, Libra Taurus, a lot of fire, okay? Um, there's very like playful, fun energy here between you and this person. This person's like new, it, like, it's exci it excites you. And they like you. Knight of Wands. Now, you, some of you could be worried that maybe this person is just a big flirt. Maybe they flirt with everyone. Uh, sometimes Knight of Wands, male or female, can be like seen as like the player of the tarot. That's not always the case, but they. Some people say that. So the thing is, the person can be kind of hot and cold, kind of back and forth. Maybe they haven't made like their official move or something yet, but there's all this like tension between you and them this like you know oh they touched my hand or oh they looked this way or you know oh this um it's it's fun but you want more you want more from this person and their energy with the ace of wands they're very excited by you like there's a lot of fire here i mean how many cards one uh two three four half spread there's a lot of fire energy aries leo sag this person they're very passionate about you. They're very excited by you. They want this new beginning. They want to explore this. They want to have fun. They want to get to know you. They want to spend time with you. And for some of you, I know you're seeing this card and thinking, well, I've known this person, you know, for this many months or this many years or however. With this card, it doesn't always mean that it's someone that's completely brand new to you or you know nothing about them. This card really talks about having those deeper, more meaningful talks. You know, as you reveal your innermost selves, not just like the, oh, my favorite color is this color, and oh, I love this song, or I love this band, or I love this movie, I love this show, I love this thing. It, you know, it's my favorite food. Like, it's those things like your childhoods, you know, uh, past relationships, your fears, your insecurities, your dreams, things you don't openly talk about to just anyone. You know, it's having those deep d uh, dives, deep t pillow talk, right? between you and this person. Now, some of you, this could be someone that you know, like, through work. 
because I get like you're both trying not to focus on each other, but I do kind of feel like you both kind of cannot help it, but just there's like this very like magnetic, like just drawn to each other kind of energy here. You're trying to work to build to create something, trying to be patient here, trying not to rush things, allowing things to kind of naturally unfold. But the issue being the Four of Pentacles feels like somebody holding back, somebody not fully opening up. You know, waiting for this person to let their guard down, to reveal their feelings, their intentions, trying to manifest this, but things just seem to be moving very slowly. Like I said, this person sees you as someone exciting, someone fun, someone with a high energy to them. Um, you know, I like this because it's like this, um, what is the right word for this? I don't want to say like, um, like adventurous, spontaneous, playful. You know, you know how to have fun. That doesn't mean that you can't be, like, serious or anything like that. Because I also see, like, the Empress here. But there's just, like, this optimistic, you know, the glass, glass is half full, like, optimistic, just viewpoint that you kind of have on things. Very refreshing. They don't feel like you're somebody who's, like, boring or drags people down. It's like you genuinely try to hype people up and, you know, just enjoy yourself. And it's, it's nice. They don't feel like they often connect with people like that. So, like, when you're talking, it makes them feel really good. It boosts their confidence. Um, tell me more. Let's grab a clarifying deck. How do they think about you? What are their thoughts about you? They want to know more about you, though. They don't know. So, they, so here's the thing. I feel like I said, you know this person. You know a lot about them. You know a lot about each other. You know, but it's just, like, the outside stuff. It's not, like, the, like intimate stuff right they, that's what they really want to know they want to know more about they want you to open up to them they want to feel like they understand you better so that they feel more confident in approaching you with something more because they they fantasize they dream they think about you aquarius and aries energy very strongly here um their feelings towards you with the empress well i mean you could be it you could be the one you could be their person But they don't know how to approach the situation with you. It's like very slow. For some of you, and again, this could be really specific. For some of you, there, I mean, it could be that maybe one of you has been in a situation or dealt with someone from the past. I'm honestly not getting like a, th a lot of third party energy. But they're, it's like they're looking to see if something is fully finalized or if something is really over from your past. Something needs to change. They may feel restricted in some way. They want to do right by you, but they want to take their time. They think about you a lot. Intentions. You make this person feel more confident in themselves like they're trying to kind of muster up the courage to say something to do something but they're a big time overthinker they overanalyze everything they, they want to communicate they just want to make sure they do it the right way they don't want to like you know catch you off guard they don't want to read your signals wrong they feel like you like them Five of Swords. I feel like either upcoming or some of you, this may have already happened. There was an opportunity for them to say or do something, and they kind of missed it. And now they feel foolish, like oh, I had that chance then to say something, but I didn't. They still want to extend an offer to you, but they're trying to figure out how to do this. Yeah, they're gonna move towards you. They're gonna want to like see you or meet together with you, spend time with you. The chariot's about movement. I do feel like this person, though, they may even express to you that they regret that they didn't ask you sooner or they didn't have the, the courage or the confidence to pursue you sooner. Sorry about that. So it's not just somebody like trying to play games or something like that. This is somebody who actually can see something more with you. They can see something progressing. They can see growth. They can see abundance. They see potential for the future. Um, all right, so let's grab one of these cards here. Now, this may or may not uh, be resonating for the rest of the reading itself. This could just be some general advice or a general affirmation. But let's see. What does the collective need to know? Okay. There is nothing sexier than my authentic truth. So, again, this person to just being yourselves with each other. 
and that's what's so nice it's like it doesn't feel fake it doesn't feel forced it just feels so natural you know you feel very comfortable with each other when I accept love of the universe as my primary teacher I will be guided back to the light um, so yeah this they're saying you know to love to experience to grow this is I mean this is a really beautiful connection I do feel like this person's gonna try to get bolder in like their approach towards you spending more time with you uh, trying to manifest this getting to know you like I said having these like more meaningful talks so that's what i have for y'all thank you again so much for watching thank you for liking sharing and subscribing as always i wish you strength and many blessings bye bye